13 is on your side. After her five-year-old son underwent life-saving surgery to remove a brain tumor, one Michigan mother is making a plea to other parents, saying if you notice anything wrong, don't be afraid to take action. Micah Choi joins us now from the newsroom tonight. And Micah, we talked with the family tonight. How are they doing after this surgery? Kirk, they're in high spirits right now. Even Cole Scarrow's physical therapist has seen a major difference since his surgery on October 20th. However, the moral of this story is always trust your gut. It actually kind of started as one of those mother's intuition thing, which is why I wanted to share Cole's story. Five-year-old Cole Scarrow is one strong boy. Here, you're going to climb off the bed? You want to walk? You got this? By myself. Cole loves his family and his stuffed dino. However, he's endured more than any five-year-old should. Cole started kind of acting a little different, you know, a little bit more aggressive. That's not his, it's not his nature at all. Kelly Blair Scaro, Cole's mother, says on October 10th, after noticing out of the ordinary symptoms from Cole, they took him to an ophthalmology appointment where doctors confirmed there was something wrong. Pulled Cole out of the room so I knew something was wrong and she said that his optic nerves were incredibly swollen and that he really needed imaging as soon as possible. Later, after getting an MRI, Kelly says she got the news no parent ever wants to hear. Within an hour, um, I was at my brother's house and I got the call that um, from the radiologist and he said, you need to go to the nearest ER right now. And he said, there's a mass in your son's brain. Kelly remembering that gut-wrenching feeling. Then I stepped outside and I looked at my brother and I just said, I, I can't, I can't do this. And I fell to the ground. On October 20th, Cole underwent his life-saving surgery at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Um, it was about a 12 to 13 hour procedure. And they did get what the doctor said was 95 to 100 percent of the tumor which was amazing news. Regaining his strength at Mary Free Bed in Grand Rapids, it's been a journey of its own trying to get Cole strong once again. Hennel alone, his physical therapist, speaks on his progress. When I was working with him, you don't see much personality when somebody is so tired. Um, I, I mean, he just wasn't able to engage as much. And now he's so funny. You can see some of his interests. You see the things that really motivate him. He now, while Cole and his family prepare to make their way back home, his mother makes one final plea to parents. Trust yourself. Had it not been for, you know, that nagging gut feeling that I always had going, something is up with him. It's just not normal. Um, you know, we might not have caught it in time. And Mary Freebread says Cole will be released tomorrow and going back to his mid-Michigan home.